Good morning, everyone. My name is Matthew Dean. Um, I'm trying to not trying to start from the beginning. Uh, I teach Spanish out of World Languages and Cultures. This is Russ Gaskell. He and I both teach Spanish. Last year, uh, we decided to take the plunge and try to teach Spanish language online. A lot of people thought we were crazy, but as you can see, we, we try to experiment and learn lots of new things all the time. Uh, last on conference, we did a presentation called Finals on the Fly, and this is going to be part two. One of the things that we like to do is to incorporate um, Skype in our course. Most of the time, our course is asynchronous, but at the end of the semester and sometimes throughout the semester, we get together with the students via Skype. And uh, you'll see that's what this map is at the end of this short video. We did this right before our last presentation. Um, at the end of the semester, we found ourselves in different parts of the country. Carlos was in Maine. I was in San Diego. We had students in other places besides Arcata in Arizona. And um, last time, uh, what we did was we showed you some of the student work and the interviews. The last part of our final was a kind of open-ended, what did you think about our class? And so we're going to see two short videos. One is a student talking about the class, and the other is a, ver a kind of a personal experience uh, in our class. So we're going to hear from Derek. Nice. No. No. This is, this is pretty much, I'm pretty much learning the whole course all over again, pretty much this semester, well, this summer. Because I forgot it, and you know, I'm just trying to pick back up to where I remember some of the verbs and the conjugations, but for the most part, this is, this, because it's on a whole different level as far as learning and how, how fast we went, you know, so. Yeah. What did you think of the pace? Yeah. Uh, I, I think the pace, I think the, sorry. The pace, the pace went well. Um, it, you guys kept me busy. You kept me, you know, doing work. And um, I was able to learn and, and catch up. Maybe sometimes, you know, the, 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 um, the learning activity where it was like, you know, 30 or 40 questions, as well as the the learn the student learning where you have to just click through it. I don't know, I'm not sure that that one. Uh, that might maybe I, I could have timed it better as far as when I did them, but sometimes it felt a little a little bit like it was a lot. But uh, for the most part, uh, you guys kept me busy and kept my, my brain churning and, and, and trying to trying to figure things out. So so it, it worked out pretty well. You think you learned a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as far as conversation-wise, um, I, I, I learned a lot. Um, it's an online course, conversation-wise, right? Like Who is he been conversing to with? To interact with people. I think that's that's the that's a big thing. That's that's the difference between a lot of uh, language classes. Instead of just learning vocabulary and language words, actually having to interact with another Spanish student. And, and listening for me is my biggest part. That's my that's my down, downfall. Listening and being, being able to understand and translate it in my head and then, you know, speak in Spanish. So one of our biggest challenges is the fact that we don't see these students three or four times a week. We, we don't usually see them uh, at all until the, one of these kinds of activities. And so we have another student who, over time, we were giving her feedback all sort of online, and over time she kind of revealed to us that she had some challenges. And she talked about that at the end of her final and reflecting on, on that. And this is still part of the final interview that we're doing. You'll see her effective filter is way up. She's tremendously nervous, right? So we have to walk her down from that first so that she can actually express herself. Not my best hair day there. No, not that I, have much to begin with. I was in the process of packing my car. Really actually point out on how I should be 
work, how, like how I should be saying something or what exactly um, I was doing wrong with my vocabulary. And I found that really helpful. My other professors at, my, at University of New Mexico, they just said, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and you guys actually told me what I was doing wrong and how I could improve myself. Okay, and don't ever... And that might have even been something that escaped professors in a face-to-face -face classroom that we were actually able to identify because we were online and even taking a more scrupulous approach to giving her feedback and noticing that something wasn't quite right there. And it took her two weeks in the course to actually reveal that she had a learning disability. Well, okay, great. Now we know how to actually help you do that. And so that was a really great thing we, for us. We view Michelle as one of our real success stories because as in her own words, you can hear that she was not able to succeed in language courses, in a face-to-face -face language course. She was able to succeed in our beginning course, and in fact, she took the su subsequent course as well. And I think that's about all we wanted to share with you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.